Hi right, guys, welcome back to another Steam free to play walkthrough. Today we have Without Within. So sorry it's been a while since I've been like made a video. It's just been I've been looking for an apartment and all kinds of craziness. So this should be a start from the beginning. I wonder if they all just give me bad ends. Wait a second, this is different. Okay, why didn't this come up last time? Fenty, 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 the chance of my fan or. Vinci, Vinci, Vinci. The chance of my fans echo through the door in front of me. I'll have to edit this to the beginning because it didn't show up when I first did it for some reason, so I'll edit that. One of my two bodyguards wrapped his hand around the doorknob. Please prepare yourself, Miss Vinci. Once I open this door, we'll head straight for our limo. The guard had no reason to fret. I had long since grown used to crowds. Still, I nodded to put him at ease. After taking a deep breath, he pushed the door open. A crowd of hundreds raised their camera as soon as I stepped out. My guards waved their arms to shoo them away. This red carpet was for me to walk on, after all. I blew a kiss for those, excuse me, starstruck presents. Miss Fenty, please let us, let us hurry, my bodyguard said. Too bad for him. I strutted along like a model on the catwalk. A group of reporters managed to warm through the crowd. They now tiptoed over my guards in hopes of scoring that exclusive. Vinci, how does it feel to have won another Calligrapher of the Year award? A reporter asked me. Before I could answer, another dozen people shouted over each other, hoping for my attention. Vinci, may I have a photograph of you? Can you sign some of my autographs for my kids and two for me, of course. Ah, I can't believe I'm standing this close to Vinci. <laughs> my fans stamped their dirty shoes all over the red carpet. Finally, my bodyguards pulled out their pepper spray to keep these fans in check. A young male reached into my direction despite having spray aimed at him. Rather admirable for a peasant. I extended a hand for this male fan to kiss. Unfortunately for him, he fainted at the sight of my perfectly polished nails. I reached my limousine at last. My bodyguards opened the door for me. As I climbed in, my trailing fan snapped as many photos as they could. Miss Fenty! Miss Fenty! The crowd shouted as my car windows pulled up. How odd. They never referred to me as Miss. Oh, my graceful presence. Must have been too much for their sanity. These poor things. Miss Fenty! Miss Fenty! <laughs> oh. Well, I had fun while it lasted. At least I got my car ride in the limousine for a good 30 seconds. In real life, my car once only registered vehicle was my 10 year old bicycle. My apartment had no space for a car, anyways. Actually, this single room with cracked walls might be an insult to the word apartment. Pull up these curtains for a spectacular $1 view. Featuring a seep sewage pipe and a wall tainted with yellow. Just open the door if you wish to smell the sewage as well. A brief taking experience. By the way, sorry, I needed to take a break back that the one room thing. This place actually had two rooms, thank you very much. The second room happened to be a toilet. That still counted, right? The toilet clogged three times a month, so be careful when using it. Miss Fenty! Miss Fenty! A woman's voice echoed from the outside. She was no fan, but rather my landlady. I glanced over at my clock. 6 a.m. Waiting another hour or two would be nice. She probably just wanted to tell me enough about my... About another rent rot, rot, rise? Nothing that ever came out of that woman's mouth. I would be better off just staying in bed. Stay in bed. Snuggle back into my blanket. The landlord lady could knock all she wanted, but my focus was on my calligraphy dreams. I had no time for these common folk matters. A week later, turned out the landlady was chasing me for my rent. By the time I realized, she had already evicted me. Now I live on the streets with nothing but my calligraphies. The past few nights had been freezing cold, and I ran out of my tissues to wipe my running nose with. To make things worse, I could feel my head heating up from an upcoming fever. May I, might I interest you in buying one of my works? I got a two for one deal today. Bad end. The landlady grunted. Alright, just know that this keeps up. You'll have to find somewhere else to live. She spun around to leave. Once she disappeared behind the corridor, kicked my door shut, causing a piece of my cracked wall to fall off. I tried shoving the piece back in place, but my effort resulted in more wall fragments flaking off. Can't win. Great. The landlady will m would make me pay for the next month. Once I become an accomplished calligrapher, 
she would beg, beg for my chance to shine, uh, for a chance to shine my shoe. My brain's dead from work, sorry guys, holy crap. Hey, I sounded a bit ranty before, but that was never my intention. A lot of famous people had humble beginnings. I would follow in their footsteps, but first I need to put in the work. That's cool, I'm a calligraphy artist. Man, my handwriting's way too bad to ever be that, but well, that's cool. She's a calligraphy artist. And so I returned to the busiest street in my area, with my calligraphy spread before me. I sat on the concrete and rested my back against the fence, call horns blaze behind me, mixed with people shouting things about each other's mothers. <laughs> These cars kept expelling fumes that made me choke. Just one of the many things I dealt with in the name of art. Pedestrians took up almost every inch of the street, of the, every inch of space on the street ahead. Surely this would be the day when someone spotted my talent. I don't think so. As always, no one afforded me anything more than a passing glance, and my will soon dwindled. Let me be honest. I never expected to sh be showered with praise by everyone, every head who passed through. There was an anime that was about a uh, calligraphy dude, I think it was Brockamon or something. It was awesome, it was really good. Very touching anime, very well done. It had a prequel too. What was that old saying? 10% of people you reached out to will buy your work. I could live with that, even just 1%, any please anything but zero. I wanted to scream at these people. They had no idea how much sweat I poured into these calligraphies. Persevere! I decided to keep these displeasures to myself. Remember, we're choosing all the top options this time. People often said patience would be rewarded. I wonder if my patience would ever become worthwhile. Just as I thought this, a man paused to look at my calligraphy. He had a bucket of fried chicken in his hand. The smell made my mouth water. As the man eyed my works one by one, I felt my cheeks heating up from anticipation. At last, someone who spared more than a moment with my works. This must be my reward. The timing couldn't be hardly, could hardly be more perfect. I summoned the courage to speak with the man, but he spoke first. You're charging for these? Oh no, you're charging for these? I managed a tiny nod. The man snorted. <laughs> I would never hang these on my wall, even if you gave them to me for free. Seriously, this is the most shameful, the shameless display I've ever seen. What a jerk, dude. Chose all along were one thing. Confronting one in real life was a rarity. Judging from this man's scrawny arms, I could bet I could overpower him with these. Then he would know just how big of a blunder he made. Attack! I crunched up one of my calligraphies and rose. The man must have sensed my violent intent as he backed and a step and shielded his face with the bucket of children. I threw a punch at him before he could flee into the crowd. My fist connected with the side of his head. That marked the first time I had ever hit someone. My knuckles hurt from the blow, but seeing that guy's jaw, drop jaw made it worthwhile. He probably grew up this way because nobody ever dared to punish him. A couple of pedestrians po popped in and held me back from attacking the man further. I squirmed against their grips, but gave up as my anger waned. Over my once my breathing returned to normal, the civilians loosened their hold and brushed me for my, and I brushed myself free. I, I'll remember this. The man fled for the train station, eating another piece of chicken as he did. So I hope he choked on it. Next morning, someone knocked on my door. I checked my clock. Oh, we're going to jail. 5 a.m. When would the landlord lady cut me a break? Miss Vinci, this is the police. Cupped a hand over my mouth as if I could, as if keeping quiet would make the police go away. They must be here to ask what about my assault yesterday. That guy I punched was nothing but talk. I should have let him ramble. God knew what would befall me now. I prayed I would at least be spared a jail sentence. Tears streaked down my cheeks as I buried myself under the blanket. This had to be nothing more than a bad dream. Bad end. God dang it. Well, we're starting off good. Ah! Alright, this time we won't punch it, dude, even though we should. Folks always said, always said to ignore trolls. I clenched my teeth and stayed put. After chuckling in my face, the man strutted off. Determined to prove him wrong, I continued to sit and wait for potential customers. He deserved to get punched. 
Another thousand people walked by without sparing me a look. Lingering here any longer would be a waste of time. Aw. As I packed my things, I insisted I was leaving my, because my part-time job started in an hour. Deep inside, I knew that man's words had rocked my confidence. Giving up on calligraphy would mean I had wasted all this time over nothing, yet if I lacked the gift, preserving things, persevering might make things worse. Tears welled up in my eyes. I clenched my fist to hold them back. You stick with your calligraphy, little chibi girl. God. Speaking of tears, I ha heard a kid crying within the crowd. It looked like we had a lost child on our hands. Some pedestrians shot him glances, but none of them offered more than that. These really were horrible people. To cheer myself up, I told myself I'd never want my calligraphy to be owned by people like that. I should help the kid, but that would mean being late for my job. I thought that our job was calligraphy. What just happened? Uh, yeah, we're gonna help him, obviously. Oh, wait. Uh, I said I was gonna pick all the top. God, okay, whatever. Sorry, kid. Miss Venti had a job to to go to convincing myself that another person would help him I headed off to work I should save the next morning the kid from yesterday appeared on the news oh god <laughs> now he had gone missing look at that face <laughs> killed seized my heart and threatened to crush it I ended up being just as selfish as the people I had criticized a low life like me had no right to dream about success I could never return to that place without feeling being tormented by remorse so my little stint as an artist came to an end. Bad end again. Well, we're knocking them out. I need to start saving when I get options. Rise and shine. Let's go. Well, at least we get to help the kid. If I judged others before abandoning the child, they then did the same myself. I would be a jerk and a hypocrite. With a sigh, I walked up to the boy. There, there, it's okay. Did you lose mommy? Mommy? The boy was sobbing too hard to answer. I leaned in to stroke his back with one hand and his head with the other. Let me know if you lost your mommy, okay? I'll help you find her. There's, so there's no need to be scared. The kid managed to nod at last. And I whispered good boy into his ear. What's your mommy's name? Huh. Hungry? Her name is Hungry. The boy's tummy growled and I realized what he meant. Oh, well, how about I buy you a sandwich? The kid shook his hand. Dang it, kid. I want ice cream. Hey, kid. Ice cream is more of a dessert, actually. I want ice cream. And so ice cream it was. One for him and none for me. The money came out of my wallet. Of course, my poor, poor wallet. At least this kid could have eaten the whole thing rather than let half of it melt on his shirt. Jesse, the boy said. That's mommy's name. Jesse, Jesse, I called. Jesse, Jesse, I called as I strode along the street. Now more people stared at me. Now people stared at me more than ever. Enough to make me blush. In fact, maybe I should try shouting Jesse at random times to. Random the next time I saw my calligraphies. The sky turned orange as time ticked by. Yes, I knew my shift started half an hour ago. Stop reminding me. I didn't remind you. A woman squeezed through the crowd and scurried towards us. She ran past a red light, nearly getting hit by a truck in the process. Jesus. Mommy! The boy shook free of my hold and rushed into his mother's embrace. After muttering apologies to her son, the woman gazed towards me and said, Oh, thank you for your help. You're wonderful. Just wonderful. The torrent of princes, praises hurled my lips into a stupid grin. Ah, oh, anyone would have done the same thing. Please, if there's anything I can do, just let me know, the mother said. Actually, there is something I need help with. The mother nodded. Anything in my power, miss? Well, well, which way back to the train station? Cutscene. Without within. The sky had grown dark by the time I arrived at work. I opened the restaurant door gingerly to avoid making any noise. Stealth mode switched on. They call me Ninja Vinti for a reason. Miss Vinti! The voice of my boss made me jump into the ceiling fan. S sorry I'm late. I wanted to explain, but my boss glared at me and my tongue slurred out a bunch of syllables. 
My explanation was in there somewhere, probably, maybe. I received an earful from my boss, but at least I got to keep my job. Several colleagues shot me frowns for not being here during such a busy period. In the end, I took all the blame without complaint. Well, at one point, I let myself inside the toilet and screamed into the bowl. I also might or might not have been fan have fantasized about dunking my workmates' heads into the toilet. That was for me for all alone to know, though. At least I earned the paycheck needed to keep my landlady quiet for another month. As for the month after that, we should see when the time came. All I wanted was to pursue my art, but reality kept pressuring me towards finding a second job. The pr Adventures of Prince Arya. Princess. On my way home, I spotted a banner for an upcoming visual novel named Princess Arya. The game had long been hyped on every forum I knew. Amazing art, along with a cast of famous voice actors, the writer and composer were big names too. For Princess Arya to have an ad this big, there must have been a lot of money behind this project. The way this banner hung high gave me the sense it was extra important. Bright light shone on the princess's face to impress potential players. Yes, that was what I really needed. If I had a banner like that, no doubt people would line up to buy my calligraphy. I could imagine how folks would react as I walked along the streets. Hey, I think that was Fenty. Wow, no way, you mean the famous calligrapher? I see on all those banners? Yeah, she must be really good. Maybe we should ask her for her autograph. My agent would then step in and speak on my behalf. Please line up in an orderly fashion, everyone. How much for an autograph? Shut up and take my money! My agent nodded in response. Autographs are available for $100. Thanks. <laughs> Is that my agent? <laughs> that would be a hundred dollars, thanks, the game shop owner said. Princess Arya cost twice what I had predicted. Yeah, Jesus Christ. If I bought the game, I would just have too little left for rent. I opened my wallet, hoping I might have more cash on hand than I realized. I turned out to I had late less actually. Save. hung my head and the storekeeper sighed. He, his arch brows pressured me into buying the game. I did ride three trains to get here. Might as well pick up something. I told the shopkeeper how much money I had and he shook his hand. Head. The store owner pulled out a different game from under the table. He brushed away the dust on it so I could see the cover. The title read Sunflower War. Some visual novels about the novel about the battlefield. Copyright 1997. The bottom read, no wonder it was so cheap. Art by Invert Mouse, whoever the heck that was. The front cover would fit perfectly in the kindergarten classroom. I flipped the case to see what was highlighted on the back. The game supported up to 640 by 480p. Truly the pinnacle of technology. The shopkeeper grimaced. He must have sensed I wanted to say no. His stare made my palms stain with sweat. And I ended up buying the game. Dealing with folks like that has always been a weakness of mine. Remind me to never visit that store again. Unfortunate. That sounds unfortunate. We lost all our money. For a crappy game. With heavy strides, I returned to my apartment. Zero calligraphy sales, late, late for work, and with rent topped off by blowing cash on some game I had no interest in, what I really wanted to play was Princess Arya. Forcing myself to suffer anything else would just upset me further. I don't need to save! I heard. Let's just play. I did spend money on the Sunflower War. Might as well give it a go. The day left me pretty drained, so the relic of a game would do a good job of putting me to sleep. I switched on my laptop and inserted the desk, which, disc, which I partly hoped would fail to load from some old age. Too bad, it worked just fine. No doubt, I love, a lot of people were loving Princess Aria right now. Meanwhile, I was enjoying this 640 by 480 godsend. No voice acting either. These illustrations, the illustrations look like they were done by a child. I would be better off closing my eyes and imagining my own artworks. The grass reached up to our knees as I read along. I painted an image of the scene in my head. The plants rustled as we waded through. We paused once every few steps, fearing there might be snakes hiding among the bushes. The grass reached up to our knees. I just read this. Wait. Somehow we managed to survive the evening. The sun surged from behind the horizon, outlining the... Wait, did I read that already? 
The earth with an orange glow. Slowly, the blue sky emerged and vanquished the darkness that had haunted us. As light bathed the soil, I found myself in a field of sunflowers. I had imagined this place to look far more terrifying, but anxiety had played merely been playing tricks on me. I drew a deep breath to savor the morning fragrance, and the distance birds cheeped as if pl plotting our survival. Of what? I could see it. Not only that, but touch, hear, and smell too. An experience crafted by my own imagination. The image rivaled the strokes of an artist, and it belonged to be alone. This fulfillment inspired me to take things further. What the fuck? <laughs> the blast of gunfire deafened us as we drove, dove behind the wall. A bullet whizzed past the tip of my helmet. Sam had passed the helmet onto me with her dying breath. I would carry on her legacy. Seems like we're having a good time. The desert heat pinched sweat from my every pore. I desperately wanted to empty this water bottle down my throat. But with no help in sight, I must conserve every drop. Uh-oh, sad. Joe's eyes closed, this time to never reopen. Despite our promise to survive together, only I managed to survive. How I wish I could take her place. I finished reading Sunflower War, right as the clock struck 3 a.m. How so many people had missed this classic left me downfounded. Actually, that would be a lie, as I too had every intention of tossing the game aside. I kept demanding excitement without offering an ounce of passion in return. If I played my part, I might be able to discover so much more. As Sunflower, Wall's credits, Sunflower Wars credits rolled, I realized just how small the development group was. The team probably knew they stood no chance against the bigger studios, yet they still did their best, with data technologies to deliver a vision they believed in. Ah, it's a learning lesson. Never give up. The happiness they felt when working on the project poured out of every line in the game. I could gaze right into their hearts. Heart. The last thing I had not long neglected. Reading is so freaking hard today. What is wrong with me? Jesus. Oh, oh, ah. Mommy, Daddy. Minty, what is it, darling? Look, look, it's like my calligraphy. Honey, it's calligraphy, but that's great. I think you have a lot of talent. It does look pretty good. <laughs> this is so much fun. I'm going to be a calligrapher. Aw. I had forgotten the last time I found joy in calligraphy. Every stroke these days felt like a grocery chore. All I obsessed over was how much or how rather how little people paid attention to my efforts. My works no longer possessed heart and I felt to notice it. Time to do something about that. I could hardly wait to start. After all, I chose this path because I loved it. That was nice. That was good. That's good stuff. Calligraphy. The next day, I ventured outside with my new set of calligraphies. Though I made no sales thus far, I still found myself beaming. That might explain why some people smiled back. Perhaps it was the weather, but I swore everyone felt warmer today. Mummy, mummy, there she is, the ice cream lady. A boy dragged his mother in my direction. It was that kid I helped out yesterday. The mother and I exchanged nods. Honey, the lady has a name. It's rude to call her the ice cream lady. <laughs> What's her name then? Oh my, it's uh, well, s sorry, what is it? It's Fenty. Mother slapped her boy on the back. See? Her name is Miss Fenty! <laughs> Mommy, can we buy one of those doodles from the ice cream lady? Doodle must be another word for top of the line calligraphy, of course. No other explanation could restrain me from shaking the brain out of this boy. My name was nowhere inside that little brain anyway. The mother checked her wallet, and her face scrunched up the way mine often did. All good, ma'am. I knew how it felt to be living life on the edge. The edge of being homeless, she's just gonna give him the painting. A save. Please, 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 please. The boy nagged on. This showed why I would never have kids. The mother relented at last and bought one of my works. Guess the boy wanted to repay my kindness. I gave his hair a ruffle of thanks. After flashing his missing tooth with a grin, he pulled his mother back into the crowd. Well, at least I scored better marks than yesterday. I would've gave it to him free if it gave me the option, but if it was at the top option, because that's all I'm doing. Another man strolled toward me. Wow, I was on a roll now. With my heart on my side, my fame and fortune had arrived. Clean my shoes, peasants! Hey, it's you again. 
The man said, oh, the troll from yesterday. I call my thoughts to avoid causing a scene. Maybe the man came to apologize. Even a creep like him must have... Must know how rude he had been. Yes. My aura had cleansed him of all evil thoughts. Go on, empty your wallet of my greatness. Wow, these new scribbles are even worse than the ones you brought last time. <laughs> Crazy calligrapher dubstep remix with original. Somehow I had turned into an internet celebrity. Top comment. Deal! Snap! <laughs> wow, she went full crazy! Yeah, LOL. Triangle mouth at zero se zero 07. Illuminati. She'd be like, why you know by? <laughs> More like, this might be a good time to look for that second job. Thank you for playing. Oh, that's the end? That's pretty neat. Alright, let's do the other options. That was short, but it was pretty cool. I like that. Alright, let's start. Yeah, okay, so I only missed the bad ends and the start. For some reason, the start didn't load the first time I played it. But now we got it. Let's just do all the bad ends. I want to see what all they say. Rant. Enough was enough. I sprang off the ground and kicked the fence behind me. The crowd stared as I ranted on and about their ignorance. It felt so good to let loose these people knew how to spot real art, my career would have kicked off. Two days later, my eruption made it way to the internet. Guys, make sure to never buy anything from her. She's nuts. Ugh, who does she think she is? Spread the news, everyone. We need to make sure people like that never get anywhere. My career was doomed. If I knew one mistake and would destroy everything, I would have kept my mouth shut. How I wished I could relieve that day. Okay, let's load to the one. Oh. Yes. Forget it. I only bought Sunflower War out of pressure, and after shoving the game into my bin, I crawled into bed. For the next few weeks, I tried over and over to sell my calligraphies, but all my works remained untouched. Well, aside from a few pedestrians who stepped on them by a mistake, wait, my bad, I did make one sale. That one guy said he needed my calligraphy to use as toilet paper. <laughs> I had zero passion left for calligraphy. In fact, just thinking about it fueled me with anger. This was... No longer the career for me. Today, I chose to retire for good. It's got a lot of lessons in this game. It's pretty nice. I like it. I like how they did the bad ends. I think I'm only missing like one now. Did this even have one? I don't think it did. Nope, that's it. Alright guys, that was a full thing of Without Within with all the interactions, I'm pretty sure. If you like videos like this, please like and subscribe. Uh, I'm gonna try to get back to putting out videos a little bit more regularly. I know it took like three days to put this one out, but there's 4th of July. I was looking for apartments and stuff, so I've been kind of busy, but thanks for watching as always. Bye!